I didn't necessarily like the song at, at the beginning. Um, I thought it was a bit basic. <laughs> when we decided to spend a day actually working on the song, I was really hesitant to do it. That originally stemmed from how formulaic maybe the, the chordal movements were, especially in the original demo. It was just like the same three chords over and over again in the demo. I thought that I, I needed to put a little bit more effort into the song and the arrangement and the, the orchestration of the instruments just because of how basic I was perceiving the song to be. It was a day that I sort of threw every sort of musical trick I could at, at, at the song itself. We got when we away. started tracking this song, we would have laid some demo vocals down. I would have sort of put some of that arpeggiated sort of guitar stuff in. It's easier to manipulate words, I think, than to manipulate melodies. There are only a few great ways you can travel through a song melodically, and I think there are millions of ways that you can say something. I'm quite proud of the drums on this track. The, the, the Purdy Shuffle, if anyone doesn't know what that is, look up Bernard Purdy. It's a basic shuffle which is like a double hit on the hi-hats with a, a ghost in the snare as the underlying rhythm through the song, which is and you just put a backbeat in, so that's, that's the general idea of the song. You can change the kick pattern up and you can change your what's called a paradiddle. Any drummer is like, shut up. And I, I reckon I've spent four years trying to learn how to play that beat properly so it sounds close <laughs> to the actual thing. And I feel like I finally was at the stage where, I, like the stars aligned that day. The backing vocals were really quite fun. The way that we recorded them, we would normally like quadruple track each thing in separate voices so I'd do one which would be like bring back that miracle love and then I'd do a really whiny annoying one and it is funny to think that it's just all one person just moving around the room. I remember when we just finished doing that and and Dan was like come in here and listen to this I, like I was like yeah that's that's pretty good all right all right yeah, you're right <laughs> like conceding. The song is is in its meaning is quite basic. It's acknowledging the fact that like we all have our differences, we have different perspectives and we can show contempt for things um, on a regular basis that are outside our perspective and that can cause lots of friction. Um, and This could be on a personal relationship level or on a mass scale of human beings, like demographics of human beings coming at each other, which we kind of are seeing more and more the world is seemingly getting more and more divided in its ideologies. Um, and all that was in my mind whilst writing the lyrics to the song, trying not to be cheesy about it, but still trying to address the fact that like, hey, we're all alive, we're all human beings. Like, we can either fuck the planet up and fuck ourselves up more, or we can actually just accept life and our differences and sort of move forward with it without being a bunch of dickheads. It's sort of the crux of the song, and I'm, I'm addressing myself more than I'm addressing anyone else. Ooh, someday, someday. I was about to become a dad for the first time, and that was troubling. I think you do start to really recognise the way the world is around you and what you're going to have to bring a child up through when you're faced with that. Um, even just trying to navigate through social media with the poor kid is going to be interesting. Like. I mean, he might be fine, but you know, he also might get completely consumed by it and lose his sense of self and be addicted and trapped. The lyrics of Miracle Love, <laughs> to get back to that, <laughs> were um, very much directed at sort of, you know, me preempting fatherhood um, and trying to get my head around it and, and you know, trying to manage my expectations of. of what it would be like and what, what I need to be like in, in order to, to help him thrive as a human being. I didn't necessarily like the song at, at the beginning. I was approaching it quite defensively. When we heard the song in its entirety, I, I, I couldn't deny that it made me feel really good. We started to show it to a bunch of people sort of after that and everyone was like, this is a great song, this is like going to be a single. And I was like, no. <laughs> but uh, now I totally get it. I, I didn't quite understand it at the time, but yeah. <laughs>